All right, we're going to introduce you to your final project for this uh, semester, for the year. Um, it's going to be dealing with endangered species. So according to the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, endangered uh, refers to species that are in danger of being extinct. Threatened refers to any species that are likely to become endangered um, with the foreseeable future throughout any of these significant portions. Significant portion of its range. Uh, to simply put it, endangered are at the brink of extinction now and threatened are likely to happen. So if we can find a way to try to protect these species, we can ensure that they're not going to go away like, uh, like the species that are in this link. So what you're going to be challenged with is to educate and inform people about species that are endangered or threatened in Wisconsin. So here is what you're going to have to do. You're going to be asked to do a little research and there'll be a research document that you can follow. Let's open this link. And you are going to have to find information from one of these endangered species on this link or any endangered species you can find in the U.S. I would be fine with. But at least start with focusing on Wisconsin. You can look at this list. So there, here are the things that I want you to uh, research. I want you to be able to identify the species um, category. So is it a mammal? Is it a bird? Is it a fish? Whatever. The name of the species, its common name, and the description of the species. Sorry, common name and specific name. And then describe the species of whatever it is. Describe its habitat, where it's located, what kind of food it eats, interesting facts, maybe three to five interesting facts. Why is the species endangered or threatened? What makes it endangered? What makes it threatened? Um, how many are actually out there? What's the number of species? What's being done to try to protect them? And what steps can we take to try to protect them? Um, come up with some sort of slogan to some catchy slogan that will get people to see why you want to help save that species. And you should have at least one picture per one of these sections. Okay. And by sections, you're going to be making a brochure. So once you've collected the appropriate information to share about the species, you're going to create a brochure that can be produced um, and hopefully save uh, a species kind of like the American bald eagle has now become um, a non-endangered species or threatened species. Um, so this is kind of how it's broken down into the five-day process. First day, watch this video, identify which species you're going to research, and then uh, open and begin collecting data on that research. That's your day one. Pretty easy. Day two, begin the research of the required information. So start filling out your research document. Day three, continue the research. And by day four, you're going to be using this brochure. Okay. So I have a couple different directions down here about the brochure. Basically, the only thing is, is on the title page, you have to include the slogan, the name of the species, the scientific name, and the animal group. All that has to go on title page, this first section. After that, I don't care how you set up the other ones. But I did want to point out that when you fold a brochure, the back page is going to be number six. So you don't have to keep these on here. I just put title page and back page on there so you know where they go. So basically, you're going to create a brochure to try to protect the endangered species um, that you are most um, that, that you feel most important to protect. So that's the information. Here's the grading, and this document is on Google Classroom. Just remember, the first thing I want you to do is watch this video. Good job. And you're going to have five class days to do it. So remember, we're basically breaking down the first half of the week as day one. The second half of the week is day two. So that's how it's going to work. Okay? You got any questions, let me know. At the end, all you're going to have to do is turn in the brochure. Um, turn in the, sorry, the research page and the brochure. That's all you're going to have to turn in on that final Google check-in. Good luck. Enjoy it. And if you got any questions, just reach out.